What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode. Thank you for tuning in today. So I am going to be making something really special today. After I made the 3D R2D2, I was reached out by a friend of mine who is an orthopedic surgeon. He asked me to use some of those same techniques to make something for him. So he is looking for a 3D art of this hip x-ray with this hip implant. We talked about how it would be cool to use some different materials like aluminum and plastic for the implant and then wood for the bones. Now he wants it to be 24 inches from side to side and then that same proportion tall. And so when I blew this image up to 24 inches, I got this. This is like Andre the Giant's hips. I mean, this is huge. That implant is like the size of a baseball, maybe bigger way too big, probably won't look quite right. And so I talked to him, we decided that we're gonna adjust it just a little bit. We're still going for the 24 inches wide, but in order to keep that same proportion tall, I'm going to extend these leg bones down a little bit and these pelvic bones up a little bit. So I think even though it's not part of the original image, it still should look right. And this makes this implant much closer to uh, actual size, we'll get that 24 inch um, side to side dimension. So I think this is gonna look really cool. So thanks for following along and let's get to work. all these bones glued up here and I think I'm just going to use a jigsaw to cut them out. Originally I thought maybe I'd use the bandsaw or the scroll saw but I think the old school jigsaw is going to be the way to go. All right so I'm not very smart. I uh, didn't think to cut out this part on the jigsaw um, before cutting out the entire piece. So there's not a great way to clamp it down and not interfere with the jigsaw. So I'm gonna get the scroll saw out and uh, cut this part out right here. Okay, so I've got these bones cut out. I've got some aluminum coming that I'm gonna make this implant out of. I've got some of these really aggressive bits that I'm gonna to use to get the shape on these bones that I want. They weren't terribly expensive on Amazon. I'll put a link below if you wanna check them out. I'm not sure how long they're gonna last, but we're gonna give it a try. Right, I have got the first pass done here with the power carver. I removed a lot of this material. You can see um, just really rough right now, mostly um, trying to get the shapes of the bones um, similar on both sides. Here how this uh, has all been carved away, making this ball up here and then the femur. So I'm gonna continue to refine this, use a little bit um, finer tool. My Dremel and uh, continue to refine the look of this. Okay, so I'm really happy with the way these look. It's been about four days of sanding. I've got each bone completely to the shape that I want. I used mostly the Dremel 
and a lot of manual sanding. And so um, these are done. I'm gonna set these aside and check out what just came in the mail. This is a massive chunk of aluminum and I'm gonna use this to make the implant. And the way that that's gonna look is like this. This is a couple of references that I have. Um, I'm gonna make this cup this ball here and then this stem. Not sure exactly how I'm gonna do it, but it is gonna be awesome. So that took forever and it was not a lot of fun. So I went and picked up this carbide tip jigsaw blade and hopefully it makes it a lot easier. Okay, the jigsaw with a carbide tip was also a bust. So I moved over to the bandsaw and got this far in about five minutes. So that's so far is my most efficient way of cutting through this three quarter inch thick chunk of aluminum. So probably we'll go through a few blades doing this, but gonna give this a try. So I've got this pretty well sanded down and I've made markings as references to let me know where I need to remove more material to make this look like a real implant. Okay, so it's been about 10 glorious days of sanding and shaping these aluminum parts. Here is the stem as well as the cup. As you can see on these references, uh, this part right here and this part is a little bit of a different texture than the rest of it. And what I'm going to do is I think spray paint in this part and this part to try to show some of that texture. I've got this spray paint here that hopefully will work. And that is the next step. Okay, so the next step in this is to make this ball and this little plastic insert here that goes inside the cup. And this might sound crazy, but what I think I'm gonna do is use a little bit of Bondo and try to make a block and then carve that ball out of, because it's a weird shape and I'm not sure what else I can make out of it. And then for that plastic, I've got this old container that I'm gonna cut out and carve up and I think it'll replicate that plastic pretty well.
All right, we are super close to being done. I'm gonna add a little bit of gray to these bones to make it look a little closer to how they look in this x-ray. I've made up a kind of like a gray wash solution. And I did that by doing um, one part of this gray Minwax water-based stain with about four parts water. And when I put it on there, it's gonna kind of look like this. So I think that'll look pretty cool and really make the implant pop. Thank mm -hmm. you. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. It took a long time, but it was a ton of fun to make and I learned a lot doing it. I just shipped those bones to my friends in Chicago, so Alex be on the lookout. And those Dupuy Synthes guys better look out because there's a new implant maker in the market. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.